Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika aka Ms. Magic back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to blow dry natural hair like a pro. If you are new here, thank you for coming. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. Everybody else, welcome back superstars. All right, so I say this all the time. The successful way to have a perfect blow dry, perfect hairstyle, perfect anything is a nice wash with a clarifying shampoo, a deep conditioner, 15 to 20 minutes under the dryer, and basically that's all you need for a successful blow dry, a successful style. Now if you're wearing your hair natural, uh, then you would go ahead with the leave-in conditioners and the products. But when you are wearing a silk press or any blowout style, you do not need that. Okay, so let's get right on into this. When you are blow drying, you must, especially with thick hair like this or whatever type of hair type you have, you must detangle. Detangle is the second most important thing. Detangle your hair twist it up and section it into the sections that you need before you start to blow dry because you want to always blow dry in sections and you always want your sections to be detangled Once you have fully sectioned the hair off, you can go in now with the first section to blow dry. When you take down this section of hair, go ahead and untwist it gently. And while untwisting, you'll run your fingers through the twist, which will thoroughly detangle the hair even more. Next, on a medium to high heat, before you even go into the hair, you are going to stretch this hair. You take it and you put a little tension on the hair at the ends. You don't have to pull your client's hair. And you just gently run the heat over the hair. This uh, allows stretching. This allows the hair to detangle a little bit more and making your blow dry process very easy. And it allows to get your hair as straight as you want to with the blow dry. All right, then once I finish my stretching method, I go straight into the ends and I start blow drying at the ends of the hair. We want to get the ends nice and straight and we work our way up to the roots. Other, everybody has their own blow drying method. Let me repeat. Everybody has their own blind blow drying method. I am a professional. I have been doing hair for over 20 years. This is the method that I choose. I have always used a comb to blow dry hair and always will. I do not use a brush because I don't like to pull the hair. Some people say, oh, you're not pulling the hair. When you're dealing with 4C hair and you're blow drying and you're using a brush, you're pulling the hair. There's always going to be a little bit of tugging, but I just like my, my comb method better. Uh, some people, some stylists will say, oh, that's not professional. Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, that, it, 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 it. yeah, I get paid with it. So I'm straight. I'm sorry. I had to do that little rant, but okay, let's go ahead and finish blow drying. So like I said, we started at the ends, made sure that was nice and detangled. Then that way, by the time we get to our roots, we can just go ahead and comb straight all the way down, nice and free. And as you see, my roots get nice and straight. If my clients want to leave out blown out, which some of them do, they can knowing that their hair is super straight even without the silk press all right so we're going to continue to do this throughout all of our sections take it down start at the ends work our way up
And guys, just look at that health and shine. Look at how sleek and straight it already is with just the blow dry. So now I wanna talk about tension. There is a difference between tension and pulling the hair. Cause a lot of people think, well, what do you mean by tension? You are grabbing the hair as I'm doing and you're kind of just like stretching a little bit. You're not pulling the hair, but you are giving tension. If that makes any sense, you need the tension to get the hair straight. So you don't want to pull, which means yank, but you do want to tug the hair just ever so gently without put, yanking your client's hair back or yanking your hair back. But you need to have that slight pull. And that's what I call tension. I can't really explain it any better than that. But this is the key to getting your hair straight when blow drying. Like I said, guys, this is my method. This is my technique. Every stylist is different. Every stylist has their own technique. I do not knock anybody else's style. But if you have any questions or comments, please list them below. And I will get back to you and answer any questions that you may have about my technique or what I got going on. All right, superstars, so I hope this video has helped you in any way, in every way. Um, this is also very tender-headed friendly because this helps out with people who are tender-headed because you are not pulling and tugging and hurting them. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. And feel free to go ahead and click these boxes on detangling videos and actually um, there's a dedicated video I have on me silk pressing this client's hair so go ahead and click that and I hope to see you guys in past present and future videos love you guys bye